Hey everybody, Barry here again. Welcome back to day three of the Cadillac engine rebuild. Today, I'm gonna pull the heads and the cam out of the rat rod. This is a 5.3 with 862 heads that I ported, and cleaned up, and they're painted. And I have an LS6 cam in it. I'm not sure what the cam is like because I had a couple lifters went bad, failed, and now I got a ticking in it. So if the cam is messed up, I'll throw it away and put a different cam in it. But it'd be kind of cool to have an LS6 cam in a 6 liter. All right, I went on ahead because the camera died. I got the heads off, cam is out, new lifters, all good. Everything looks really good. There's no damage to the heads at all that I can see. I'll get a light on it later on when I get to the shop and check it out. Cam looks really good. This is an LS6 cam, which is 550 lift. And it's gonna make a big difference in the six liter because it was 460 lift. And I forgot to mention before, in these heads is also LX, LS6 springs, and I got the LS6 push rods, I bought it all in one shot, and I have LS7 lifters in it, so this is going to be a pretty stout combination, I think. I wasn't kidding when I said most of the rat rod has gone into the Cadillac now. Um, it's looking pretty empty. So, when the spring comes, it's time to put an engine in this. Either do a six liter or a five three four eight i don't really care what it is as long as i get to drive it so let's go up to the shop and start inspecting and cleaning these parts i've been at the shop for five minutes and i'm already bleeding perfect i'll get back into it in a minute but it is time for me to clean up some of this mess man i got stuff everywhere
All right, we got the six liter LQ9 cam out. Now we're gonna put in our LS6 cam. Lifters were all in really nice shape. One thing I did notice is that all of the lifters were sunk down like that far. Uh, they seem to be all down about eighth of an inch. Maybe that's because there was preload on them. But I'm going to go ahead and use my other lifters because I know they're good. All right, let's see what we have. Number seven is here. The ring gap was right on the brake. Number five, the crack is here. The ring gap is all the way over here. So I doubt that had anything to do with it. It's interesting that both pistons have brakes in the same relative position. Is that a weak spot in the casting or what? This is Gen 4 stuff. You can tell by the retainer clips in here and the dimple on the rod. So, why is this happening? I'm going to haul the rings off of number 7 here. Put it down in the cylinder and see what the gap was. See if the 400,000 kilometers had any bearing on the gap. If, it, if it's still pretty much factory or is it worn. A lot of people blame ring gap for this. I don't think it was my issue at the time. But we'll see. Alright, so the ring is about three quarters of an inch down the bore. 
We got 028. Six in there, no problem at all. It's almost loose, actually. So we're at 28, 29 thousandths. I'm pretty sure bone stock new engine is like 19 thousandths, maybe. So ring gap seems fine. Usually I'll file them to 30 or 35 thousandths, so. Didn't get a lot done with the engine tonight, other than verify a couple things. Got the cam put in, cleaned up the garage a little bit. Cleaned off the bench. Got the heads off the rat rod, so I did get a little bit of stuff done. I think tomorrow I might come up and clean up this nasty block. We're having a really hard time finding purple engine paint, which I'm kind of astonished by because purple is like one of the coolest colors there is. Ford blue is no trouble to find, but. So if we can't find purple, Cass said let's go on and do black, which is fine, but it's not nearly as cool. It'd be kind of cool to open the hood of that and see a nice purple engine. I've been thinking about shaving another intake so I can get rid of the top covers. And then you'll really be able to see a nice clean engine. I'm also going to clean up the engine bay. So I think uh, that's pretty much it for tonight's video. Thanks for tagging along and subscribing. And have a great night, everybody. Thanks for watching.